On the first Sunday in Lent, the church puts before us the account of our Lord's temptation in the desert. The devil tempts our Lord in the same way that he tempts us. And so our Lord, on our behalf, overcomes those temptations. So we, by drawing close to our Lord, are strengthened to overcome temptation ourselves. Union with him is the greatest defense against temptation. Pope Benedict XVI gives another way of understanding the same scene. He explains the temptations not so much as what the devil uses against us, but the way that we ourselves can tempt God. Granted, it's not as flattering an interpretation, but it is spiritually very powerful. Because we do tempt God. We, we put him to the test. Sometimes we insist that he turn stones into, into bread. That is, we want him to satisfy our physical longings and desires, our desire for creature comforts and for material goods. Sometimes we even insist that he worship us, meaning that we want him to change things to our liking, to make us the focus. And sometimes we insist that he prove himself to us, that he do something spectacular and amazing, like throwing himself from the pinnacle of the temple and being unharmed, doing something like that so that we will believe. We withhold our trust and our faith from him until and he, unless he does those things. So the challenge for this week is really to take these things and examine ourselves on them, make this the point for the examination of conscience. Every day, at some point, look at those temptations in the desert again and place yourself, unfortunately, in the role of the tempter and, and ask, how am I doing this to the Lord? How am I withholding my trust from him? How am I demanding that he worship me by catering to my desires? How am I demanding that he provide for me all the physical, material things that I desire but don't necessarily need. These points of examination are not easy, but they're helpful in Lent. They help to deepen our sorrow, our contrition for sin, so that we can experience a deeper mercy as well. Take the two minutes to virtue challenge. Subscribe here.